I'm Gray Drake with RottenTomatoes.com, and I'm here at the Virgin Galactic Spaceport in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. I'm here to talk to the cast about the movie After Earth, and if they don't tell me the truth, there's going to be some consequences. You hear me? <laughs> but let me tell you the genius of After Earth as mm -hmm. I see it. You're like, Jaden, we're going to make this movie, mm -hmm. and I am going to be the father, and both my legs are broken, broken. so I'm just going to chill. I'm going to chill. And you're the one that's going to run you're around. You're going to run around. You're going to do all this stuff, <laughs> but I'm still going to take most of the money. <laughs> <laughs> you're even better than I thought. See? I've been thinking. I've I been love thinking. It. After Earth is a really intense coming-of-age story. Uh -huh. Have you in your real life felt like you had a coming of age moment where you're like, hell yeah, I'm a man. After Karate Kid, I was like, whoa, I survived that? Seriously? <laughs> I, wait, I'm alive right now? How do you deal with being shirtless for that long in your young life? <laughs> that was a I, long time you were shirtless. Mean, yeah, it was. I don't mind it. I love walking around shirtless. <laughs> when you were fully clothed in this one, you had yeah. the, from head to toe, almost like a reaction to that, like, we're not gonna yeah. let him run around naked again. Yeah, dang it, I was so mad. I wanted a shirtless scene so bad. You understand? You are going to retrieve that beacon, or we are going to die. I also was thinking about you in this movie kind of living vicariously through yeah. your kid, which is something that all parents do to some extent. Absolutely. And when's a moment that you've been proudest of your son who's accomplished a ton at what, 15? Yeah, already? 14. Yeah, yeah you I know, mean, so that's amazing. There's a scene in the movie where before he jumps off of a cliff, and he and I have an argument that's a really intense argument and he has to scream and he has to uh, and then he's crying and he really is it's a, a a very serious dramatic scene which is completely the opposite of who Jaden is and I was proud of him that he overcame his internal objection to to that space to deliver a scene I think people are going to remember for a while we must abort this mission you wouldn't give any other ranger that order. You are not a ranger. You are my son. What did you learn from your dad that was the most useful on this movie? You know, I feel like I just developed as an actor on this movie. At the beginning of the movie, I was different than I am right now. And what does he do that drives you nuts, your dad? The best thing about him is his drive, and the thing that makes me mad about him is his drive. It's just like if you're super duper tired and he's like, all right, let's go, he always has energy. You're just mad at him because, like, why do you have energy? You shouldn't have energy. You, know? you were a youth, and you do not yeah. have as much energy yeah. as he is. Yeah. When is a moment you can remember when you were like, this is it? This is my power. It wasn't a great moment. It was my first day at high school, and I was so nervous, and I walked into the lunchroom, mm -hmm. and I stood up on the table, and I said, hey, 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 can I have your attention? He's here now, everybody, so don't worry about it. It's good. You can go back to what you're doing. He's here. <laughs> and this dude looked up, and he said, don't nobody give a damn that he's here? And I said, hey, man, don't worry. Your girl will care in a little bit. And you did not say yeah, that so, to him. But I was nervous. That was my nervous reaction. Probably 20 minutes later, I was laying down on the floor, and he had hit me and knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of bad things happen to you in I high know, school. I know, but in a strange way, it made me realize how much control I had over that situation. Mm -hmm. I inspired him to do that to me, and I realized how much power to inspire people to do things that you have with every interaction with every human being. Oh, I like that. Like right now. Like right We're now. We're inspiring one another. You're inspiring me and to you scream are at people. Me. Yes. In cafeterias. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. She's here. The space hooker. <laughs> She's here. <laughs>